Ladies, gentlemen, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. Um, <laughs> if it is a welcome back, then you'll know the trouble that I've been going through to try and get this camera working as a webcam. And guys, I think we've done it. I think we've done it. Um, some kinks. There's a few kinks. Uh, excuse the mess behind me. That is my camera case just laying on the bed. Uh, and there's a bit of a mess because I didn't think I would get around to recording because there were so many kinks. But we are. We're recording. We're recording. And as promised in the community tab, I said I would bring you some reactions to some trailers because there were a few that I've missed from last week. Um, and this is the perfect test for my Sony a7 III to see if we can get it to hopefully record Warframe. Mass Effect and Half-Life 2 and any other gameplay series in the future. We just gotta, we just gotta push it. We gotta push it and we gotta see what the results are. Because uh, if it sort of, you know, conks out after 30 minutes or anything like that, we might have a problem. It's actually hooked up directly as a webcam rather than the camera. But it's looking good, huh? Yeah, it's looking good. There's a... Uh, You've never seen so much quality in my face. Uh, what's going to be interesting is to see if this works with XSplit in order to get my background removed for the Mass Effect gameplay. But hey, here we are. We are back with a brand new reaction video. And today, Dying Light 2 Stay Human official gameplay trailer. I have been biting at the bit to react to this one. I haven't seen it. Uh, it released four days ago. Um, it, I, it caught my eye and it released four days ago. But... I haven't seen it. Now, I have been a huge fan of Dying Light, the first game. Um, to me, and, you know, this is just my opinion, but it was the best zombie game or undead game I have ever played. Ever, hands down. Uh, it really is incredible. The fact that they brought so much free DLC and free updates constantly, just constantly, as the game progressed, it was crazy. I think they're still like releasing small bits and pieces here and there. And the game, I don't even know how much it is. It must be like £10 now, £5 now, something stupid because it, it came out so long ago. But oh my god, I absolutely loved the first Dying Light. It was incredible. So it makes sense for me to be excited for Dying Light 2. It does. It makes perfect sense. So that's what we're going to look at today. Dying Light 2. Uh, it's a 4K trailer, so we're going to try it. With my PC, will let me do it. We might as well try and do it, especially with the 4K on the face. It makes sense, right? But oh, 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 let's get straight into this. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be. It's going to be awesome. Let's go. Captured in game. Some scenes being edited to avoid spoilers. Hey, well, that's everyone. good. We've been quiet for some time. Since, like the rest of the world, we had some unforeseen hurdles to clear. But the wait is over. Mm. Let's dive into the open world of Dying Light 2. Oh, it looks good. It looks colorful, really colorful. Looks beautiful. The last slice of Dying Light 2 showcased the mission from the main storyline. Yeah. Get out that old fuck. You saw how your decisions influenced the narrative and notably changed the environment. This time, we want to give you a broader look at the game and a sneak peek at some of the things we'll be talking about in upcoming months. In Dying Light 2, you become Aiden Caldwell, an outsider trying to unravel a tangled mystery from his past. Its trail leads him to the city probably the last bastion of mankind in the world. Oh, shit. At first, you feel like this intense, brutal place will tear you apart. But then you meet the Night Runners, veteran survivors who help people in better days. This looks good, man. I can't lie. We used to help people. Remember? My runners are gone. Finished. A myth. And although it's not entirely clear you can trust them, you need allies in the dark. <laughs> and these are the modern Dark Ages. Modern it's been Dark 15 Ages. It's years since the apocalypse and the world has changed. The old civilization has fallen. But a new one has been built on its ashes. Wow. That's cool. The fact we're seeing, like, 
what would happen to humanity after an apocalypse like that 15 years later like there had to be some movement right there had to be and if it shows people have adapted and everything's kind of looking better kind of kind of i like how it started with like really dark like at the bottom it was just horrible undead bodies death decay and then as the camera rose it really was as he said out of the ashes nice beautiful windmill probably for to do with power water and it looked quite nice it almost looked like a farm it looked heavenly some would say people fight desperately for scarce resources the rules are broken and weakness is punished she's innocent three factions struggle Ooh. for position in the city survivors pride themselves on being able to adapt to any circumstances and cobble together safe zones almost everywhere peacekeepers loyal soldiers who want to impose their version of law and order and trample all in their path renegades ex-prisoners serving their ruthless colonel seeking to become sole rulers of the city where is waltz make him tell me. use these factions to reach your goal help or harm them to reshape the city to your liking <laughs> Just remember, each faction contains complex oh, characters. Oh, oh. Nosy Parker, ain't ya? Got some kind of bad habit of yours? So, will you follow cold calculation or your heart? The bazaar needs good people. Help us and you'll find a home here. Some in the city offer no chance for an alliance. Bandits, outlaws, and common thugs live only to plunder and kill, plunging the streets into chaos. Yet, nightfall scares all of them equally. Oh, come on. This changes the come on. The world. As the light fails, monsters crawl out of hiding to prey on the poor souls caught outside the safety of UV rays. Hordes of infected pour into the streets like decaying lava. The deadly spawn of 15 years of mutation and evolution. Jesus. Your only escape? Exploit the city's verticality and flee to the roofs. Though even there, you are never safe from swift and deadly virals. Or even greater threat. <laughs> Yet night brings opportunity as well. Nests rife with infected during the day now lie empty. To explore them, you must tread carefully. But those brave enough to face the terrors of the night can loot a jackpot. Luckily, you have all the tools you need to survive. Your extraordinary parkour skills allow you to navigate even the most treacherous terrain. On the roofs, you can count on your parkour acrobatics to save your life. But often, you'll have to face your enemies head on. And then you have to be smart, resourceful, and determined. We've worked hard on the essence of our combat, making sure swinging a big, meaty weapon is fun, satisfying, and well executed. Jesus. But even the most brutal fights can be tactical as well. You have multiple ways to hone your skills toward the gameplay style that suits you best. It's up to you if you focus mostly on mobility and parkour or aggressive, blunt force combat. 
or a crafty approach where the tools you've created get the job done. Every ability you learn can be a game changer and possibly a new favorite move. Things move fast and Man. quick in Dying Light 2. Each moment matters. Each move could mean triumph or defeat. Choose your actions and friends carefully. Everything you do in the city can be shaped the gameplay environment, change the course of the narrative, and decide the fate of the city's residents. But most importantly, you decide your own fate as well. You're about to turn. Make sure to stay human. We have a release date. Holy shit. We have a release date. That trailer was insane. Dying Light 2. And I had, you know what? I'm not even scared about the sequel. I really, really am not. Like a lot of games tend to either go downhill a little bit or they rush them. And they're never as good as the first game, or they're just not good at all. Dying Light's been very different from the beginning. The fact that they've given Dying Light the original game, the first one, so Dying Light 1, so much free LC and so many free updates, phenomenal, okay? And like, if I was to play it now, it would still stand with a lot of games being released now, graphic-wise. It looks beautiful, it really, really does. And Dying Light 2 looks no different to that like obviously there's graphical updates to it but it looks no different in terms of quality the quality is going to be insane the creatures you're going against and the monsters and the zombies are there's more variety not that the variety in dying light wasn't bad it was perfect it was perfect if it really feels like we've been given a game here that we will all be happy with I can't see anyone complaining about this game. I really, really can't. Show me someone complaining to this game and I will watch that reaction. But this looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. The fact that they brought in that um, that choices matter. That's going to be interesting to see. That's going to be interesting to see what Dying Light do with that. And how diverse that system is. Um, because if they do it right... It's going to be a really, really good game. But if it's a matter of sort of two choices, like one or two here and there, and depending on what you choose, doesn't really matter too much, if that makes sense, then maybe it'd be the wrong way of going about it. But I think they've done a tremendous job here. Um, they've made the Renegade faction look really appealing, uh, and the sort of wannabe coppers, not so much. <laughs> but, oh my god. This is insane. I can't wait for this to come out. And what was that? The 7th of 7th of December. I've booked all my holiday off this year. I've, I've already booked it all. So I haven't got any free holiday to like come off and play this. I don't know whether I would record playing it. I think I would leave it for sort of just just, just my own <laughs> experience of it. Because I love Dying Light. I put many, many hours into Dying Light. But I'm excited. I am excited for this. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments if you're excited for Dying Light 2. Did you play the original? If not, tell me why. Um, make, now is a better time than any to get into it. I definitely recommend it. I really don't know how much it is, but it can't be more than £15. I'd be very surprised. And for all the game you're getting from that, insane. Absolutely insane. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the new quality we've got going. Hope you're enjoying that. Uh, and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.